Yo, what's going on everybody? Sean Boyle with Momentum360 here. Another blog at you. Today, we're going to be talking about the top eight <laughs> industries that need a virtual tour right now. Not next week, not next year, right now to better your business. So we all know that real estate is probably the number one factor and it's actually our number one industry. Let me mute myself over here. Uh, that needs a virtual tour. But what are the other eight? What are the other eight that truly go into uh, the need of having a virtual tour? So basically, we're going to pop in right here. This is a, and obviously we're talking about real estate right here. This is a turnkey property that we shot last year, I believe. I personally shot this. And you know, just an amazing property on Hatfield Street. Real estate obviously is great for virtual tours because you can see in and out if you're buying a home, if you're selling it. There's a key stat that I want to talk to you guys about that really blows my mind. And you go into the blog, you're going to be seeing this, but I wrote it down here that homes sell an average of 10 days faster and wait for this, $50,000 more than homes with virtual tour. So if you don't have a virtual tour, you're going to be missing out on potentially 50 grand 50 g's of you know just free money basically well not free money you gotta pay for the virtual tour but you get the point you gotta pay for the the virtual tour and you could possibly get this uh compared to someone who doesn't have it so really great really awesome you can see a bunch of different numbers here three to six times more uh, engaging with the property that listed uh matterport 49% more qualified leads. Just the, the list goes on and on and on about why these properties are so legit. And I mean, take a look at this. You know, the Matterport, the shoots in 4K, it makes the floor look absolutely stunning. The walls, everything just looks crystal clear. I mean, hell, if I'm wanting a place, I might move, move in here, you know, white, you know, everything. And it just looks really nice. It really does. So hopping into the second industry that needs a virtual tour, retail, right? Your brick and mortar store, whether it's a shopping mall, I talk about this, your local boutique, you really need one. Now, a lot of people tell me, they're like, Sean, but I have a brick and mortar and I have enough pictures, I have enough videos. Well, it's actually funny because this is the Douglas Albert Art Gallery in State College. And Douglas Albert, the owner, I was talking to him and he actually had a video on his site that like he would actually come in. He took it on, his, on a, like a selfie video and he literally walked from this part right here all the way into the store and did a whole, you know, 360 uh, tour basically of this. So my thing is, why did he need something like this? What would benefit him? Well, the first thing is you could see he has a lot of stuff here and he has a bunch of unique items that not really most people would get unless you're an art connoisseur. So A, we wanted to rank him not only for art galleries and state college, but you know, really fine art and we're gonna get really qualified leads. Like we we're talking about earlier, you get fifty percent more qualified leads. This is the kind of stuff. I mean the average college person in state college at Penn State isn't gonna come in and buy this great piece right here, right? Of of all these people people walking or whatever they're doing. Nor are they gonna buy, you know, this like African statue right here or this phoenix or you know peacock whatever it is or whatever so anyway or this dog but you get the point they're looking for primarily fine art buyers that want this kind of stuff that are looking for this kind of stuff in this area so obviously we help them rank as you can see there's no banner tags on this right now because we are this is the second most recent virtual tour we shot we actually shot it i personally shot this uh two weekends ago i believe so Really looking forward to getting all the matter tags. <laughs> There's a bunch of them that we're going to be implementing. You can see this place is freaking crazy. It's so cool. It reminds me of Cracker Barrel almost how you have all this stuff on the wall, kind of how Cracker Barrel does and all these unique items. But regardless, retail is a very, very, you know, great niche that, in my opinion, definitely needs virtual tours for brick and mortar. If you're more e-commerce based, then not really need a virtual tour because you know you're trying to sell all over the place you're not specifically trying to find people to come into your store that are local that's not really our game our game is local people in your location that don't normally go to your store but you know want to buy these kind of things and they don't have a way to see them and 
to see them in depth and take a whole you know tour of your place. It's pretty in depth. So that's retail for you. Next is drum roll please restaurants. And this is probably coming from a mile away. As you can see, restaurants are something that we all love and are near and dear to our hearts. If you have a date, you know, really where are where, where do you start with a restaurant? Because this is Louie Louie. This is one of our partners on Walnut Street. And <laughs> yeah, pictures and videos do really well, but how cool would it be? And this is something that we do with all of our clients is how cool would it be if let's say, let me go to an actual table here. Hold up. If I say, okay, I have like four or five people. So mm, I don't know if I want to go right here. It's kind of too big, still too big, but what about something like this? You have four plates right here, four or five plates. That'd be perfect, right? So you could say, hey, I really like this booth right here, all the way to the left, right to the left of the uh, these two computers right here, these two check-ins. Uh, so you could book it right then and there. And it just makes the experience so much more vibrant that you understand what exactly this place looks like, how you can navigate it. You're going to talk to the chef, say, hey, <laughs> I'm kind of hungry. Bring my stuff out, right? Chop, chop. No, but, you know, it's just really in-depth and it's something that, provides not only the unique experience I was talking about, but you could how cool would it be? You call someone up, say, hey, this is what I saw right near the bar. You know, get me three or four seats there. I have a special party. And they can accommodate that. There's no way you could do that with a photo or a video. There's just no way. There's no way you could play with this like you can um, a virtual tour and and so on and so forth. Um, I'm rambling a bit here, but because I'm just checking out this place, but <laughs> you guys get the point. Really cool. My dad actually had a bar in South Philly called the Boiler Room. It's no longer open, but we would have definitely loved to use this because when people would come for the Eagles games, they brought a bunch of really unique parties and you know, all kinds of crazy people in South Philly. So we would take them up top to the second floor and they would just have a crazy time. But we never really could gauge how many people would come. So it was one of those things if we had a virtual tour, we could let them know, all right, Max, max capacity is here and they would check it out and say, okay, that this works for us, you know, cause they never know they have photos and videos, but it's like, how can you really tell unless you have something that's in depth like this? So moving on to the next is the hospitality, right? Wedding crasher season. <laughs> no, not quite, but basically this is a really great industry, uh, event spaces, event marketing, venues this is actually a virtual tour that we shot called room 244 the owner laura i shot this actually in july right before i went back to school but really unique place that hosts all kinds of venues uh, it's kind of small so 40 people i'd say that they wanted to uh have in this place at all times so really small space but regardless you know it's something that you really need because again if you have a video Showing the place, yeah, it's okay, but if you have all these click through things, you can have these matter tags. You see unisex bathroom, all these really cool artistic pieces, types of ferns, and it's just, it's going the extra mile. It's being a little bit bougie with your customers. Here, and you can, like I say in all my videos, you can check out a link, you can do their Instagram. You know, if you guys follow my content from now, you guys understand, you guys get the point of these virtual tours and what they look like. But now I really want to go in depth with what's the value proposition? Why are we paying this money? You know, so it wraps around the bend right here. They actually have an outside place as well. That's a little bit homey. It's pretty chill. And they have like a bunch of lights that light up. And some people put like projectors up here. So again, it's kind of small, but still nice. Nonetheless, they put like you know, TVs and whatnot. So around like, you know, there's seven chairs here, but you could probably fit in 10 to 15 people. But again, this could be for, Ooh, actually, let me show you guys. I shot, <clears throat> excuse me. This is views venue. I actually shot this today. The owner of Victoria was such a pleasure to shoot. This is like in Fairmount. It's on Ridge Ave. And this is a little bit bigger. So like maybe like 50, 60, 70 people and just really beautiful artwork. Beautiful flooring. I love the chandelier right here. Really nice touch. And then it's a garage that opens up all wooden. So it's a really nice touch. People could step up. And it's like I said, it's really creative. So why would you not want something for this? If you want to show off and be a little bit bougie, if you have the extra cash, you know, but this is something that 
you put on your Google and it's a one-time fee and you just get it over with and, and you have it. You're beating your competitors. You're beating pretty much everybody that tries to, um, um, you know, get in your space and, and take over. So that's that. Hopping over to the next one is healthcare. And this is a big one. So we have, I want to say, five or ten virtual tours. We don't deal nearly with as much with healthcare as we'd like to because it's really hard because a lot of people, they have these small doctor's offices and some people, we work actually more so more with uh, rehab centers and some like tied that around where like detox centers and, and places like that more so because there actually is a living situation there that people could stay there for a long time. This is just a doctor's office. People get the main gist of it, but if you're a doctor, this is a dentist right here. You know, you get like, let's say someone has a phobia of like going to the dentist or not. And, and I know that's kind of extreme, but you see everything's all laid out. You can get more information on this kind of stuff. Hell, you could even, advertise and say, hey, this, these are our new packages. This is what's going on. And again, it's just really informative. A lot of great stuff. Really love this office. It's really well kept and concise. There's no like fluff to it. It's just, all right, here's what we're doing. And I like the isolation too. I like there is, you know, you could breathe here and walk through it, but you could also like you have an individualized setting. And so again, if you have you know, let's say you have a really big family and you have like 10 people that you want to all go to the dentist. I, I don't know. You have, I'd say about like 10 spots here. So you can call them up and they'd be perfect for you. So it's just something, and this goes not only with dentists, but with doctor's offices and everything with that, you know, let's say you want to shoot the, the meeting or not the meeting space, the waiting room. Why would you want to shoot the waiting room? Because you can show off your TVs, your great magazine selection, something I talk about more so in the blog. It's a great way to show off all that content for sure. So that's healthcare. Next we have automotive. So this is something that has been really popular as of late. Kia Allentown was shot, let's say 2017. I was still in college, so really cool. And the main purpose of this is you get more of a, it's, you know, like, I guess everything, but it's a comfortability factor, right? Yeah, you can read about, what, the Kia, Knight, Kia Nero, right? If I'm saying that wrong, let me know in the comments. If you're reading about the 2018 Kia, Kia Nero and you have all this stuff right here, how cool would it be you literally could call the dealership up Hey, I see this red one right here, and yeah, I'm just going to say yes. I'm just going to call them up and say, hey, I love this car. Hell, you could even, I mean, unfortunately, there's no matter, there's no spot right there, but you could even zoom in on the, uh, come on, but oh, here we go. So you could even, <laughs> you could even check out the prices and all this kind of stuff. It's just, you could see, oh, like, here's the leather seats. I don't like that. Maybe they're like, I don't know, white leather or something other bougie. I mean, maybe they're not even leather and, and you prefer that. You could literally say, hey, I want this. I want the Kia Optima. You know, there's a bunch of different things and you could, you know, flaunt your awards too. I'm sure there's definitely awards here and along, along this and, and whatnot. So a really great platform. This works very well with automotive dealerships dealerships primarily not so much parts and services service centers but dealerships where you have a whole showcase of your beautiful car selection whether you're selling kias or you're selling ferraris this works now again not so much parts and services because you're taking the car in there and you just see a bunch of mechanics and they're all eating cheesesteaks and you know you, you don't want to look at them it's not a pretty sight <laughs> but you know, you get the gist. Really cool, really solid, and you just get more of a feel for the car you want. Next, and I go into depth of dealership A, dealership B, what are the ipso factors? Um, sporting events. This is something that we haven't tapped into yet at Momentum 360, but it's kind of far off if you think about it. 
because they have StubHub, they have a lot of different ticket sites that you could click on. All right, here's the the seat I want, boom, boom, boom. So it would be a really long time to make that virtual tour happen, excuse me, for Madison Square Garden or if you're in Philly like we are, Citizens Bank Park for the Phillies. Um, we actually calculated this. So a basic virtual tour costs, I'm sorry, it, it takes about one to two hours to shoot a 2,000 square foot property. So you do the math, it's 1.15 million square feet at Citizens Bank Park, you divide by 2,000, it's roughly seven or it's roughly 575 hours it'll take to complete the whole virtual tour so it's just under 24 days it's literally a week back from a whole month <laughs> of completing this virtual tour so i like to make the analogy rome wasn't been built in the day so it's not that much time but how cool would it be again it kind of like the restaurant situation you go to citizens bank Park and you click on the let's go to one of their photos you click on ooh, do they have a virtual tour oh they do actually so that's pretty cool i had no idea but primarily for the seating okay these are just like 360 view photos but how cool would it be if like if you zoom in and say hey i want to go right behind uh the visitors or i want to say oh, i want to go right behind the the phillies and you pick the exact seat the exact row you want, VIP, Hall of Fame, diamond seats, whatever, right? Whether you want to go in the nosebleeds or whatnot, you know, what have you. So this is something that I think is going to be optimized in the future. And it because everything is going to be more technological, advancements coming up. It's just going to be more, I guess, user-friendly for the buyer. That's really what we're looking to do here. But nonetheless, something to do on the horizon. And last but not least, right, we have education. So this is a photo of the Paterno and Petit libraries at Penn State University, my alma mater, shout out PSU, love you. And we found a really creative stat that students are, and there's a couple of virtual tours. Let me just these right here. College virtual tours. So West Virginia U has one, which is great. So this is cool. This is really sick. I want to see what this tour looks like. Actually, no, I don't want to get started. Okay. I don't want to hear you, but this is cool, actually. So this is a photo. You can go and then what? Can you walk or something? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is cool. This is something I, I remember. I actually applied to West Virginia, I got in, but then I got into PSU, I was like, all right, I'm gonna go to PSU. <laughs> Nothing against WVO, I love you guys, but uh, I wanted to be a little more close to the family. But anyway, this would be, it's more so click and you go to something else, you can't literally walk through like, you, like I showed you guys previously. But, you know, this is something, whether you're at Penn State or WVU, that it's 60% more likely to email a college, 95% more likely to call a school that has, uh, whether it's like, oh, I want to call out tuition, I want to call about uh, the GPA requirements, and the admissions process, whatever, housing, 95 more likely. Like, where are these stats? I mean, I even make a really good point. These are just not even incredible numbers. They're, they're, you like, you're missing out on so much business without this. And this is what people don't understand is with us, we pay, you know, we charge a one-time fee. That's it. And from there, we give you Google My Business reviews and postings and just a whole bunch of great techniques to really help you guys rank for uh, your niche. So that's pretty much it. That wraps up the top eight industries, whether it's you're in real estate or retail, restaurants or healthcare, venues, automotive, sports. I covered them all. So, you know, definitely get more informed with these virtual tours. If you have any questions, hit us below. You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Momentum360. I'm Sean Boyle. Guys, it was a pleasure. Thank you so much for watching this. If you watched everything, comment below. You guys are true ballers. And uh, thanks for the support. Take care. And I hope this was really good info for you.